Hola, hola, it's Crystal Molina here. I wanted to show you what I was working on. I have the new class schedule that's going up for March and April. So far we have March 13th with me, painting furniture, March 20th, decoupage with Mary LaFay, March 27th and 28th, soldering class with Rita, and April 3rd is a sign painting class with Karis. So in order, for the people that walk along the 101, we wanted to show them sign. All right, I'm hand painting this on. This was stamped on with IOD letters, and then I just used B board with a little bit of water, just to water it down so it's not as thick. And I just started hand painting these letters on. I'm gonna add all the information, and it'll be great. The furniture painting class is going to include two sample size jars, enough to get you started to paint a piece of furniture that you can pick up with one hand and bring in. It also includes a top coat, so you'll learn how to prep a piece, how to paint it, and how to seal it. It's gonna be a great day. Okay, we are going out into the store. It's about to open, and Grandpa has been working on a new project. It looks so good, I cannot wait to show you. Do you remember the the brick wall situation that went south, the roller from a previous video. We tried to roll plaster onto the wall and make it look like brick. It was a no bueno situation. And I gave up on it. I did not want to recircle back to that. So grandpa is covering up the lower half of the wall. It's gonna be like a wainscot. So we still have the fabulousness up on top. And he also cut this hole in the wall so that we can access our amazing new vintage jewelry cabinet because this was the only place for it to go dad yeah what's it like to work here <laughs> on pressure a lot of pressure <laughs> come on i'm a good boss right <laughs> and i pay you pretty good yeah yeah and it's never the same thing twice yeah you never get bored <laughs> doing the same thing okay. what's up levi <laughs> there's levi Bye. There's Crystal. Crystal, what's it like to work here? No pressure. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. I love it so much. And my hearing has gotten better since I started working here. Oh, good. <laughs> Is it fun? It's super fun. <laughs> I like waking up and coming here. It's I love it. We love, love, love having you. Yay. <laughs> what's it like to work here? Do a doggone good job at greeting the customers. Huh, Levi? Is it a good working environment? Do we represent all breeds here? Are we inclusive? Huh? Huh? Levi? Okay, you guys, we are starting a new series on the channel called Real True Customer Stories. So we have customers, all kinds. For 20 years, I've had this store and there have been many interesting situations. And we find that we get asked the same questions over and over. So I thought it would be really fun to create skit type videos, reenactments of situations that have happened in the past. We have changed the names. We have dramatized it to protect the innocent. And we've also maybe embellished a little to make it more entertaining. Welcome to Real True Customer Stories. This is episode one. Enjoy, let me know what you think. Let me know if this has ever happened to you. This happened recently. Thank you. Hey, Sailor. What color is that? Hey, Sailor Blue. And who are you? Karen. Karen? With a C. I'm gonna paint it. It has to be the exact blue. Exact blue. Exact. Exact what? Blue. Oh. Hey. Hey. Sailor. Hey, Blue? Blue. Look wow. at this luscious color. It has to match. If it doesn't match, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna start saying sailor words. Look at that. Going. I am I'm so frustrated. Can you tell me more about that? Yes, I purchased this color paint and it's not the paint I bought. Really? Like, so you started not, a new project. 
Yes. And, and I, you painted it with, what color was this? Well, it was supposed to be Hey Sailor, but it's not. It's okay. not the color that I bought. They, maybe they poured the wrong color in the can, but I, I need my money back. I need this color. This color. This is Hey Sailor. This is. Your, I see you're comparing it and you're seeing this is yes. a darker shade yes, this than is this. this light blue. Okay. I need dark blue. Light. Dark blue. Yes. So how many coats did you put on here? Um, two. Two coats. Yes. And what was your top coat that you used? I have not used the top coat yet. Okay. When it dries, it gets this chalky finish. And to bring it back to that natural luster that you want, that Hey Sailor, yes. we're gonna use either a wax or a big top. And that's what's gonna bring it back to this color that you saw that you want, that but you need. I did apply some wax right here. Can you see? I just, I just didn't wanna waste it. So yeah. It's right there. And I, th I think to get the full picture, we should do the whole thing in the top coat. And I can help you do that today so we can see it. Because I know I you want this color. Because I'm painting this for somebody and she does not like this color. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is, it's all color. part of the process and we're all learning every day, right? So we just need to get a top coat on this and it'll Can bring it back. Can you do that right now? Because Absolutely. I, I'd love to help you today. Let's make I'm it happen. Look, just right this. here. Okay. It's magic. Poof. Let's make it happen. Big top. It's my favorite top coat. It's a really nice water-based sealer. I like okay. to keep it in something like this because it's easier to pour out. Normally I have a plate, but we're just rolling, you know, because I want to help you today. Okay, I want. I need to see this. Go. Are you telling me that this is going to turn into this? So let's make it happen. Okay, ready? Okay. So you can see it's going to bring back that natural color that you want. Oh, wow. So that brings it back to the color that you see in the jar. Wow. And okay. So much better now. What is your name? I'm Crystal Molina. Crystal Molina, thank you. What if I wanted to make this even a, like a true navy blue? Because you don't have a true navy blue. Like, how would I do that? You could add like a lighter blue or a white to lighten the color or a black to darken the color. Oh, thank you so much for your help. You're I welcome. I really thought that, that I got the wrong paint color. I know it's frustrating. Manufacturer's error. Yeah. Nope. Okay. This is, the magic is all in your hands. So the paint is one color in the jar. One color in the jar. Once it dries, you're gonna see that chalk mineral, and then you're gonna to wanna to put a top coat to bring it back to that color that you see in the jar. So it goes from the jar to the dry color to the color with the top coat. Yes. It changes three times. It does, it's magic. It is. Okay, well I'm gonna just go back home and finish painting my project. Thank you. And, and did you need to pick I, up yes, big top today? Okay, let's go ahead and bring that up for you. Thank you. No problem. Head on over to DIY GoGo -Go for our upcoming workshops. We have a furniture painting class with Crystal Molina, and we have a sign painting class with Karis Hagen. And we have our video boot camp in person and online. Tickets are almost sold, so get well yours while you can. And we have our macrame workshop on April 17th. It's going to be fun!